Happy New Year, everybody. Welcome to the Court of Foul. My name is Richter, and whoa, 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 wait. Hold on a second. I can hear myself. No! There it is. Yeah, a lot of things here are kind of dark. I wonder if I should make this a little bit brighter. Give me a second. All right. Happy New Year, everybody. Welcome to 2023. Hello, Comfy, Quinn King, Phoebe, uh, Eve, Banana Ketchup Son, Turin, Rem. We got a really solid attendant today. Nito, welcome, welcome. Happy New Year. Oh. Woo. All right. It is 2023. And honestly, I was pretty hyped to play Persona 5 Royal. I really was. I really was. But uh, I got to hold off on it for now. I apparently do not yet have full permission to start streaming Persona 5 Royal. I got to wait a little bit. Just a little bit. I don't know yet. It really depends. Because here's the thing. I got the copy of Persona 5 Royal as a review copy. So I just need to wait until I can actually, you know, until I get the go signal to start streaming it. Because apparently I got to wait. I got to wait for a certain permission before they give me the full on, uh, you know, green light to, to start streaming. I hope it doesn't get denied last minute, but we'll see, right? So in the meantime, I'll just uh, we'll just have a nice little chat today, I suppose, just so at least we can catch up on what we've been doing since what mid December. Mm -hmm -hmm. So tell me, guys, what have you been up to for the past what three three to four weeks? <clears throat> Sorry. Three, four weeks. How's you guys, how have you guys been? Hmm? Did you guys get to celebrate both the... Uh, your, your, well, yeah, we did have the Christmas stream. That was the last... Actually, that was the last stream that we had, didn't we? So that does make it around more closer to two to three weeks. Yeah. Probably closer to like two to three weeks. Two and a half, maybe? Hmm. Go built Gundam, watched Gundam, played Gundam. Ah... Still haven't started Witch for Mercury? Hmm. Well, if you're interested, part one, the first core of um, Witch for Mercury just started, uh, just finished, actually. It's as good a time as any. Although, I think, if I'm not mistaken, from what I've been told, Witch for Mercury will be back around April. So it's going to be a three-month wait. I burned my hand in chemistry lab. Acid fell. Oh, no. Turin, your hand doing all right? Did you get it? Uh, you know, I hope you got first date on it. Hopefully you're recovering. Because, man, acid burns are really bad. Like, they can be really, really bad. Yes, uh, you have to wait until April. Uh, just sleep in fire emblem. <laughs> Actually... So after Persona 5 Royal this week, next week we'll actually be on regular programming again. We'll be sliding in Persona 5 Royal into the schedule. Also, my, my, um, hmm. It's weird. It's being weird. My chat, uh, what do you call that? Widget. It, it's, it updates and then it takes a while and then everything just goes in all at once. Still haven't figured out how to fix it though. Anyway, I hope you're feeling better now, Turin. You know, that, it, that you got first date and everything, yeah? Uh, let's see. Working, weird sleep, and also trying to learn to draw. Ooh. Neat. Oh, wait. Uh, yeah, Nito. There we go, yeah. Oh, you should really, uh, you should probably, uh, if you have, if you've been practicing, feel free to use the Discord to show off some of your, your works in progress. I'm sure... At the very least, if we don't, you know, just like straight up praise it. I think we have a couple of maybe artists here and there who might be able to 
you know, give some insights. Hmm. Who knows? You know, I'd like to use the Discord as a way for people to kind of share their experiences as well. <clears throat> Yesterday, only it happened. Sulfuric acid. Ugh. What? Ugh, isn't sulfuric acid pretty bad? Huh. Well, yesterday, oh, well, hopefully, yeah, hopefully you feel better soon. All right, Turin, you take care of that hand. Make sure that you get it, you know, that you, you're you careful with it. You don't just uh, aggravate it any further. Hmm. Uh, huh. An artist, but in cooking? Ah, yes, Rem. You're, I see that you're always posting the food pics. And oftentimes I catch it when it's like, oh man, I gotta go to sleep. Let me check what's going on Discord. And then I see food. And then I get hungry. And then I tell myself, hmm, I wanna eat, but food. Hmm, I wanna eat, but food and sleep. Ah. Also, let's see, banana ketchup's on? Yeah, the Gundam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> Speaking of, I'm probably, uh, what do you call that? Once, uh, what do you call that? Because I kind of need to wait for payday. So, for I said, it's really corrosive. Skin became totally red. Ooh. Mostly five minute sketches. Hmm, hmm. Looking forward to it, Nito. And Turin, well, just glad that you made it out okay. You didn't lose any limbs, hopefully. Outer skin totally got removed. Ooh. Ooh. Blech. Well, just get well soon, all right? Turin, take care of that hand. Don't uh, use it too much. Hopefully it's not the your dominant hand. And that you can, uh, you're not, you're still going to be able to do all the stuff you normally do. Because otherwise, like if I, I don't know what I'd be able to do if I didn't, if I lost, like, the use of my right hand for, I don't know, a couple days, that'd probably mean no stream for you guys, unless it's all, like, just chatting, because games, I think, are going to be really difficult to play. I mean, like, even with a controller, depending on how little I can move it, my hand is totally steel. It's my left hand. Ah. Well, good thing, then. You, it leaves your right hand to do all the things that your right hand does, right, Turin? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Yeah, like, damn, all the things I wouldn't be able to do with my right hand. <clears throat> Just chatting is fun. Yeah, it is, it is, actually. Hmm. Reiko, welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. Happy New Year. How have you been? What's, uh... Oh, okay. I got a question for you guys. How do you guys do... Like, New Year's resolutions? Are you guys into that? Also tried to make a croque madame. Internal despair sent, uh, set in when I went for groceries, and they only had one out of the four ingredients I needed. Ah. I'm trying I remember a croque madame is a sandwich. I'm trying to remember exactly what kind of, like, I have, like, I have the picture in my head, but I don't remember the exact, like, ingredients. I do good? No, well, that's good. That's good. Not really. I never fulfilled my New Year's resolutions anyway. <laughs> Honestly, it has been a while uh, since I've made a New Year's resolution. And for Rem, uh, if you don't know what that is, that is basically a... It's kind of like a thing that you do that when the New Year comes, right? It's a, it's a whole brand... Uh, it's a brand New Year. So you're going to go ahead and try to, like, commit to a goal that you're planning to do and fulfill within that year, right? So, for example, Banana Ketchup Sun says, you know, New Year's resolution, survive. I don't do New Year's resolution. Don't need a year to pass to try to change something I want to change. Well, the, the kind of logic behind it, supposedly, is that, you know, at the start of the year, you're kind of like, okay, so we have a brand new year, and it's more of like the goal-setting mindset that the brain kind of because like the brain doesn't work continuously right they say that the human brain kind of works in episodes so that you know so it's kind of like okay you don't see your life as like a whole lifespan continuous narration is perfect just watch me ray the sussiest of them all 
but yeah so you know it's a good resolution the brain works in specific like uh periods like you don't think of your life continuously but it's like thinking oh in a day you think of your life within the day within the week the month the year so by kind of setting a goal for yourself at the start of the year they say that you have a better chance slightly better chance to to kind of complete those goals than if you hadn't also welcome razor to the stream how are you how's your new year how's your new year been a croque madame is essentially a grilled cheese with greer cheese and ham and bechamel on top along with extra cheese and a sunny side oh that sounds so goddamn indulgent nito that sounds indulgent as all heck I don't know. I know I have bad memory, but is Razor a sibling of yours again? No, no, no. Razor is a very good friend of mine. He is my favorite Swedish wolf. Considering that I don't know many Swedes, that is a high bar to set, though. <clears throat> mm. Good holidays were very relaxing. Mm -hmm -hmm. You don't need more episodes, another season. <laughs> All right. But yeah, so what do you call that? Yeah, so New Year's resolutions essentially is that, uh, yeah, so it's kind of like just goal setting at the start of the year to kind of give yourself a certain parameter for fulfilling your goals. I prepared chicken tandoori for the first time in my life this new year. Ooh, uh, it's always nice. It's always nice when people uh, start doing like a new thing. You know, because I've, I've started cooking again, well, last year. So one of my resolutions for this year is to basically keep on uh, cooking and to order, like, delivery less, right? And by extension, eat a little bit more healthy because I have better control over my food now, right? Speaking of cooking, I have learned how to cook chicken afritada. Ooh, that's good. Next thing you know, next thing yeah, you need to do now, Reiko, is figure out all the differences between afritada, menudo, caldereta, and what else? Pochero. Yeah, those four. Or was there a fifth? I'm trying to remember, like all those like similar dishes, just figure them out. There is a difference, banana ketchup. There is a difference. All right. Like, for example, you would never catch me, like, use, uh, using raisins anywhere else besides, like, was it menudo? Yeah, menudo, I think, is the one that can usually have raisins, and I hate it. And usually, whenever I see, like, menudo, it's always, like, really small, you know, like, small cut potatoes and everything. Whereas, like, caldereta is, like, it has chunkier uh, cut vegetables. Yes, Pochero has, uh, it has, what do you call that? Pochero does have, sorry, does have like the, what's that, banana? Saba. Yeah. One of my new friends, New Year's resolution is to become a black hat hacker. Ooh. That's ambitious and dangerous. But, you know, good luck, I suppose. It's not a resolution, but I have planned to visit that Filipino restaurant near me. Ooh. Let me know how it goes, Nito. Let me know how it goes. Hopefully, you enjoy your your uh, your little visit. In my family, we don't put banana. That's fine. That's fine. Because, like, pochetta tends to be, like, on the sweeter side, as far as I can tell. Because, like, the pochetta that I usually get does have, like, the beans, does have, like, the cabbage, and uh, the, the, the bananas in it as well. Rich, if I have an 8-pack, I can pat a cat. Ooh, yeah. Oh, can I pat a cat? You know, pat, why why wait until you have an eight pack to pet, uh, to pet some kitty? Rem, what's the problem? You know, just just if you, there's a kitty, you pet it. Get old. Happy New Year. Welcome, welcome to the stream. Uh, what's that? Uh, I prefer afritada over menudo and pochero. Ah. Afritada, bell pepper, menudo, caldereta, but less chunky. Kind of. Menudo also has um, raisins, usually. 
Just popping in just to say hi. I'm gonna play Monster Hunter Rise with the lads. Ooh, enjoy. That was originally what was planned for today's stream, but it ended up trying to change to Persona Five. But then I got the notice to put it on hold, so we're back to just chatting today. <laughs> we're gonna figure out Monster Hunter for next week for sure. Oh, also another thing you have to remember that Caldereta has um has liver spread in it. Caldereta originally is supposed to have liver spread, is generally beef. Oh, see you, Torin. You take care of yourself. You take care of yourself, all right? You rest that hand. You make sure that it stays clean. All right, Torin? You make sure you clean that uh, that left hand of yours regularly <laughs> so that it doesn't get infected. All right, take care of yourself. Hope to see you soon. Get well. Rich, I'm almost there to copying hair stuff from the avatar. Ooh. Getting that nice long hair in, Rem? Ah, Menudo. Yeah, actually, Menudo does usually... Uh, what do you call it? Menudo is usually done two ways from what I've seen. One is little chunky... Well, not chunky, but like small pieces of pork. Or it's... Yeah, it is. Uh, or in your case, as it's uh, giniling or like minced pork, typically. Menudo is also typically pork, as far as I know. You've never had the guineling type? All right, Turin, you take care. Everybody, let's all, uh, you know, wish Turin the best and hope he gets well soon. All right. Yeah, usually the menudo with the guineling type, that's the type that I usually see also with, like, lots of raisins. And I hate the raisins. So bad. I don't usually like raisins whenever they're like put in dishes you know especially if it's like eh, eh. like the only time i will eat raisins willingly is raisins in empanada is the worst yeah that, that's one of the worst usually the only time i can eat raisins is if i eat them right out of the box you know like i have like if i had one of those like little boxes of um what was that like sun-made raisins I can pop that, you know, like like it's candy. But that's the only time I will eat raisins. If it's right out of the box and it's dried and I will, you know, I'll eat that like candy. That's that's fine. That's good. But I don't like it when people throw raisins into other stuff. You know? It's just I just don't like it. Cuz it's still like a dried fruit, you know? I also like uh what do you call it? Like what do you call it? Dates and plums, the dried versions. Those are nice too. Raisins with cinnamon rolls are good too. I don't know. I I don't know if I can still agree with raisins on cinnamon rolls. I usually pick them out. <laughs> uh, I usually pick them out, even on cinnamon rolls. I'm like, eh, oh, what's that? Pass. Ensaimada, really? I don't know. I don't know, Reiko. Can't can't really uh can't side with you on that one. Banana chips? Oh yeah, they're okay. Banana chips are good, but I feel like I can only have so many, like banana chips. And for me, the best form of bananas is in banana bread. All right, for me, like your baseline banana is banana bread. Raisins are the best thing, but only where they are supposed to be. <laughs> but yeah, banana bread, the fucking best. It is like, I have, I have no reason to turn down a banana bread. So we need some good old fashioned banana bread. Uh, I might get, maybe, maybe I'll try to get some tomorrow. There's like a Starbucks downstairs that usually has some banana bread. I'll see if I can pick one up. Otherwise, you call them the devil's poop. The devil's poop is really tiny then if it's like freaking raisins. Eve, one day, Zuma, I will have you try banana bread. All right? We will give you banana bread and you will understand how great it is. My favorite version of... Uh, what do you call that? My favorite version of a banana bread is I microwave it until it's nice and hot. And then I spread a little bit of 
a little bit of uh, Nutella on it, you know? There you go. Banana bread, a little, and a light spread of, uh, of Nutella on it. That's like, mwah, delish. That shortbread is also one of my favorites. Shortbread, I don't know if I've actually tried shortbread. Huh. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I've ever actually tried shortbread, but, you know, I'm I'm willing. I don't like Nutella that much. Ah, it's all right. I mean, everybody's entitled to, to, to dislike something. Although, for me, Nutella is great, provided that you do it in controlled amounts, you know? Like, I, it's very easy to go overboard with, um with like something like nutella you know but again i feel it's the same way with what do you call that it's the same way with like any kind of spread like even like peanut butter for example right like peanut butter i i am not one of those kinds of people who are like man lay it thick i want some thick ass peanut butter on my bread and then have it like just ooze everywhere like no what are you? Are you some kind of monster that just like lays on a super thick layer of peanut butter? I choke on peanut butter. Jesus Christ. You know? Like, I feel like anything that you're supposed to spread on bread cannot reasonably be that thick or needs to be, you need to like have that much to serve. So whether it be like peanut butter. Oh, all right. oh you're going to do homework now. All right, no problem. Reiko, you go ahead and do homework. All right, you take care. You study hard. You focus. And uh, I wish you luck. I wish you the best of luck that your homework is easy to do. All right? Now, uh, I remembered raisin bread with a good layer of PB is nice. PB and jam. Hmm. PB and jam or PB and oh actually jelly is a different thing, huh? I would like to borrow brain cell. No problem. Brain cell's always for rent. Just make sure you return it. Alright? <laughs> so good luck, good luck. There's actually a difference, you guys, between jelly and jam. So PB and J, you just gotta make sure that you, you know. That you clarify, is that jelly or is that jam? Yes, Razor, peanut butter and jelly is real. Exams suck. They do. They really do. So here's the thing, though. Jelly is actually surprisingly not as common, like, I think outside of the United States all that much. But jelly is real, though. Like, it is just, uh, like, grape jelly? I don't know. I'm not the biggest fan, all right? I'm not the biggest fan of jelly. So I'm not going to lie. Peanut injustice. Ah, uh, but a good peanut butter is good though. Like give me like as a kid, I grew up like with um what do you call that? With what was that? Skippy. Like since uh what do you call it? Since I was a kid, I kind of grew up with Skippy peanut butter. Particularly the chonky ones with like uh, with like the chonky like little bits of peanuts in uh, in what do you call that in peanut butter? I don't like jelly. I don't like jam. Best PB and J is peanut butter and Nutella sandwich. Actually, peanut butter and Nutella is actually sounds pretty tasty, provided it's not you know it's not too much crunchy peanut butter. Yeah. It's nice when you have like a little textural difference, you know? You're biting into it, it's not just all soft bread. You actually have like little crunchy bits in there. That's nice. Now, here's the thing. I grew up with uh, with Skippy, right? But now as I'm older, I feel like I appreciate like uh what was that brand? Libby's. I think that's actually a local brand. Libby's or something? Was it Libby's? But yeah. Mmm. But that one was just like more, it tastes more natural. 
salt and water sandwich. What? What the heck is a salt and water sandwich, Rem? What the hell is a salt and water sandwich? And why does it sound nasty? Crunch is the MVP. I would say my favorite brand was local and would dox me. Ah, Libby's do be the bomb. Yeah. The only thing is that, you know, occasionally you got to make sure that you mix your Libby's. <coughs> because uh, sometimes that oil just kind of gets up to the top. You know, it's a sandwich with water and salt. That sounds nasty. My fave brand is local as well. Ah. To be fair, I think like those that make it locally are probably going to be some of the better ones. Mostly because like, you know, they make them in much more controlled quantities. So they have like, there's more attention to it and everything. So yeah, I feel like that. Because like you can even make your own peanut butter if you really, really wanted to, you know? With the right tools, with the right equipment, and a lot of... Uh, a lot of hard work you can make your own peanut butter why not you can make it as thin as chunky as you want it to be depression sandwich breast bread slice thin layer of butter sprinkle of sugar honestly that's not bad that that's actually like yes typically that would be something you'd like expect for you know if you're kind of man i just need something real quick so you get that bread sliced, thin layer of butter and a bit of sugar. It is a wartime bread meal. Yep. A clam chowder ice pop is nice. Clam chowder sounds good. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Because usually my favorite thing would just be like, just, oh, oh, crap. Fresh, freshly baked bread from the local bakery and a nice cup of black coffee. That is like, Yes. Yes. <laughs> you know, there's nothing that is like, oh, you take that, you take a good whiff of that, that local bakery goodness. You wake up at like four or five in the morning and the, the bakery like down the street is just, you know, coming out with their, with their bread and it smells amazing. And then you get a little bit of that butter. Spread it on that hot bread. It melts so quickly. Mmm. And then just, uh And then you have your, uh, your black coffee. Especially for, like, if it's, like, early morning pan de sal. Ooh. That's nice. Oh, that's so nice. Kind of want some fresh pan de sal right now. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Gotta catch. I gotta. I gotta have to figure out what time that Panda Manila gets their fresh, uh, fresh, fresh bread. Anyway, so miss the days of waking up with the smell of freshly baked goods. Same, same. I miss the smell of a fresh bakery, freshly, uh, fresh cooked, freshly cooked bread, freshly baked bread. What the heck? Words. Hmm. Uncooked ramen noodles with peanut butter spread. What? Ram, I don't know whether you're broken or today or... <laughs> like, all of those food ideas. Hmm. You doing all right over there? Family used to bake? Ah. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Unfortunately, I don't have an access... I don't have access to an oven, so I'm like... Uh, I wish I had. I wish I did, though. A oven would be really nice. I can think of all the other stuff I could cook if I had, like, an actual proper oven. I'm hungry, but opposite day. Oh, I see, I see. Man, if I had an oven, I'd probably be making, like, stews and, and all sorts of stuff. Bread would be nice as well. No, I don't have an oven. I do not have an oven here. <laughs> Give Richter his oven. Wait, oh wait, hang on. I don't have, um... Oh, shoot. I actually realize that I don't have... Let me add the, um... There's the thing that I'm supposed to be adding. Okay, there we go. Oven for Richter. 
Come on, guys. Give Richter it. No. <laughs> I will I will have an oven in my, you know, in due time. I just don't have, like, the space to have an oven right now with my current place. And I'm kind of contracted for two years. But we'll see. You know, eventually I'll be able to move out. Hopefully have a place with an oven. So don't worry about it. You know, don't worry about the oven for now. I wouldn't have the space for it anyway. And I'm still in that kind of in the process of setting up the whole, uh, what do you call that? The whole, what's this? The whole, this place, this condo. They're smaller, more portable ovens. True, I'll consider getting maybe one of those smaller ovens. But once I figure out, you know, the rest of the, the rest of the place, there's cute bevy ovens, portable ones like the Japanese ones. Ah, like I can, I probably the best thing I can get at the moment is like what a toaster oven. That's probably the best thing I can uh, work with, for now. Yeah. Ah, <sighs> but don't worry. Someday, someday. Mm, I'll figure it out though. Hmm. So yeah, I think you kind of go back. New Year's resolutions, guys. If you guys have, like, like you know, in my case, I got to cook more, you know? Toaster ovens are genuinely super handy and versatile. True, true. But again, like, I have, I actually have a really tiny kitchen right now. So I'm trying to figure out, like, how to actually get a better, like, cooking setup. And one that doesn't necessarily eat up in, more into my living space than it already does. Hmm. I'll let you guys know if I end up getting like a mini oven or something. My oven is not a handy. It's leggy. <laughs> oh, by the way, let me know, guys, if you um see the thing that's going to pop up on my on my it should be popping up on my screen sometime soon. Hopefully, Richter, we need to cook. Richter bad. No, no. An actual, like, oven, an actual cooking. Oh, by the way, most likely next week, depending on how things go, uh, I might be one step closer to doing, like, a, a kit building stream. You know, gun, uh, Gundam kit building stream. Yeah. One step closer by next week. Don't worry. We'll have that set up soon. I just need to figure out the rest of like the setup, I suppose. We'll have we'll try to see if we can have like an overhead cam. Uh might need to Cause right now I, I have the I have the kit. I have a table now. I actually have a proper table now. I hope you'll not be ovenless anymore. <laughs> And Richter Fowl merch. We don't have merch yet. Yet. And I say yet because I definitely want uh, definitely want merch someday. You know? So I'll 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 we'll 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 figure out what kind of merch to get. But anyway, for the for the kit that I'm planning to build to, to start with, I'm actually unsure. It's a, it's a toss-up right now between acrylic, uh, Richter Acrylic Stand with Magic. Mm, that sounds nice. That sounds nice. Because I'm thinking maybe I'll start off with like um, one of my older HG kits. I think I have like a Zaku 3 or something that I haven't built yet. Let's uh, We can start with that, just an HG, to kind of, you know, give myself a little bit of a refresher especially when it comes to using the exacto knife and then the whole board and everything. So we'll do that. And then after after the HG kit, we can probably move on to something a little bit more complicated. Maybe we can finally finish my um what do you call that? My MG. I think I have a uh, uh, an unfinished MG Buster Gundam. That's uh, this lying around. Should probably dust it off and finish it off as well. I think I have like half of it already finished. 
So I just need to finish like the other half. It's like a zhong at this point. But soon we'll have kit building streams. I still don't know how to figure out how to do the how to do a cooking stream though. I kind of want to do that too. But I feel like that one is a lot more I don't know difficult to do. Like short of actually like bringing the like stove here into the bedroom and I don't know how and I don't know if that's a wise idea. Hmm. Perhaps perhaps we'll figure it out. So yeah. So those are some of the things I'm thinking about. You invest, Rem? What are you investing in? Merch? Foul merch? Is that it? Warm and nice in bed? Uh, that sounds like a fire. <laughs> Gunpla collection reveal? Uh, you're, you're gonna be disappointed. I don't really have a lot. I think the only thing that I have um, built right now is probably... Uh, what was that? The Grim Guard, a Zaku 2, a Bear Guy, and um, Gundam Gusion. Invest in Richter Coin? No, I'm not going to be that kind of streamer, guys. There is one, there are two things I will, I promise you now that I will never, uh, that I'll never promote, guys. One, I will never promote NFTs. If I promote NFTs, that means I have been killed and I have been replaced with a body double. All right? So no, no, uh, no NFTs and no crypto. So those are two things. If I ever start promoting crypto and, uh, and NFTs, it means somebody has killed me and has replaced me. And I'm probably long dead. <laughs> Ah, uh, that's two things. You said three things. Three things. Um, oh, AI. Yeah, AI uh, generated art. So that's probably the third thing. Taxes. No, AI generated art. That's gonna be my third. I have no comment on taxes. I I will, I will invoke my right against self incrimination. <laughs> All right. Ceremonial coin, a physical one would be cool. Like, ah, you know what? Now that's the kind of coin I can get behind, you know? I all, I alone? Oh, no. AI, oh, AI all I alone. What? Hmm. AI. Be cool, guys, okay? AI art is like a remixed song. You can say that you remixed it originally, but the original song is still something else. There we go! Oh, there we go. There's my throne. Look at that, guys. So there's my throne right there. You can see it's just popped up on stream. Heck yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Then it's going to vanish, it's going to go away, and then after that, it's going to come back later on as something else. Maybe I think it's going to be promoting my Twitter and or something else. Uh, and you're able to buy this coin to redeem them to purchase new merch in the foul store. <laughs> uh, Lysol coin would be so cool. It does, right? Sounds really, really cool. Will I promote chicken nuggets? Yes. I will promote if McDonald's Ronald McDonald, if you're listening there, buddy, I am all I am down to clown I down to chill chicken nuggets, all right? I am down. I will promote the nuggets. And I'll even do like a nugget challenge if you'd like, Ronald. Please. Let me shill for you. Let me shill for the clown. We're gonna have those nuggies. Hmm. But yeah, the coin idea sounds really, really cool, actually. I kind of, hmm, kind of thinking about, would there be, would there be a way to get, like, that kind of custom coin manufactured? And how much would it cost? It's probably not going to be cheap. And it's probably going to be, like, super limited, you know? 
we're probably going to have like, I don't know, we'll have 30 coins minted. Each coin would have that number, one of 30 or something, right? And then we would print that. You would have those minted, 30 coins, each one with its own number, 0, 01, 0, 02, or something like that, all the way up to 30. And then we sell them, limited time, and we'll never, and we'll never mint anymore again. For Eve, it would be coins or gem-like things. Ooh, yeah, that sounds nice. I would very much like, um, like, specialized, like, crystals or something, you know? Or, or, it'll be like a crystal lamp. That would be cool, you know? It's a collector's item, exactly. I think for Eve, the, um, what do you call that? Like a, like a crystal lamp would be a cool idea for merch. Imagine being, uh, what do you call that? You know, like going to bed. Instead of a n normal nightlight, you have like a, you have an Eventira crystal lamp to keep you, you know, to help uh, soothe you to sleep at night. Yeah. Or... Even or another thing, another lamp kind of thing for Eve's uh, for Eve merch. Imagine you know those um like uh some, a crystal lamp that makes a small dragon shadow maybe. Oh, that would be so cute. That actually be cute. You just hear ah wow 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 until you fall asleep. <laughs> that actually sounds super adorable. The other thing I'm thinking of, you guys know those kinds of like lamps that project like stars and stuff into your like onto your like ceiling and room imagine that for eve but then all the constellations are like you know like customized like eve constellations or something you know you get to see her uh star maps there we go yeah you'd have like custom like eve constellations on there stardust bunnies exactly you know you'd have like you'd have all the stardust bunny constellations there Oh, that'd be so cool. I've wanted that since I was a small dragon. I'll write this into my merch ideas. Do it. Star map with the with the stardust bunnies. Fries or rock? Hmm. Fries. Fries are good. I'm kind of wanting fries. Ugh. Acid. Gotta have fries. Fries are nice. Fries seem really nice right now. I don't want the rock. That depends. I mean, is the rock gonna like just just coach me or something? Or is the rock just gonna stand there and do nothing and comment and you know criticize my life? You know? Sometimes uh Dwayne's just gotta step it up. Both? Hmm. Well, the Rock as a life coach doesn't actually sound bad at all. Rock candy is nice. Yeah, they are. They are nice. Not too much, though. Personal chef? Yeah. It's like, I wake up in the morning and the first thing I hear is, If you smell what The Rock is cooking. Breakfast? Yes. Ah, <laughs> uh, The Rock cooking breakfast. And you're asking... Do you smell what The Rock is cooking? It smells like bacon and eggs or steak and eggs for breakfast. The Rock is making steak and eggs for breakfast. Got to get all that protein. Start your day right, he says. <laughs> uh, uh, that, that's, you know, that's something. That sounds like a Make-A-Wish Foundation level kind of thing. The Rock cooking you breakfast. The People's Champ, the Brahma Bull, the most electrifying man in all of sports entertainment, and Hollywood star. If The Rock cooks you breakfast, yeah, you're 2,000 calories for breakfast alone. Oh, yeah. Holy crap, you're right. Rich, I can be your chef for free. It's okay, Ram, I appreciate you. <laughs> But it's okay. If I'm going to hire you as a chef, Ram, I will do so with a full salary, all right? Hopefully, it'll never come to this. <laughs> Don't worry. I am a person who does not, like, if I'm, if I'm, if I'm going to be getting someone 
to do like work for me i want it to i want to i want to pay for that you know people deserve to be paid for the work they do that's why you know it's something that i feel very strongly about so make sure that if you're going to be doing commissions or you're if you're uh, if you're going to be getting commissions from people you got to make sure you pay them activate the galuto ng pancit kanton ah you can pay me with a people's champion belt no oh, that is a belt i currently do not have in my possession but don't worry if that is what is required the people power we'll see if we can get the people's champ all right you pay them commissions yeah and the, the tip exactly exactly <clears throat> and for all of you artists in the chat if you are taking commissions please do not undersell yourself you know if you are an artist in chat right now whether you're active in chatting or just lurking and you do and you take commissions for people make sure that you charge the price that is fair do not ever underestimate your ability and your talent all right you might be thinking oh but i don't have enough experience yet i'm not that good yet it doesn't matter your time is valuable your ability is worth paying for all right never undersell yourself don't sell yourself short you are valuable so is your time and your effort all right and i want each of you to remember that you know personalized art is a luxury exactly if someone wants you to do a thing get paid for it yeah you know because otherwise they could just very well do it themselves or at least they should like oh but i, I want you to do art for me yeah so you gotta pay for it sells ms paint commission for ten thousand us dollars hey Banana ketchup, if somebody is willing to pay 10,000 US dollars for an MS Paint commission, why the heck not? You know? Who are you to say that somebody's MS Paint commission is not worth 10k? If there's somebody, if somebody is willing to pay, then why the heck not? You know? You want to know what I'm going to say? If somebody offers to pay me ten thousand dollars for a paint MS paint commission, I'm ask I'm, I'm gonna ask, when do you want it? <laughs> you know? When do you want it? Because I'm not turning that stuff down. Ten thousand US dollars for an MS paint commission? Hell, why not? If you think that my MS paint drawing is worth that much to you, who am I to say no? And you're willing to pay, like, you, and the person is willing, like, they're not, they're not going to go broke or anything if they're just willing to pay ten thousand. Yeah, I'll take that, of course. You know, John Laurinaitis, and I believe in people power. <laughs> what the heck? <clears throat> but yeah, you know. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's my Kofi now. There you go, guys. You can support the channel through Kofi. I'm actually trying to see if uh check in if, if if I have everything else in the chat seen correctly. Alerts. Oh no, I don't have the uh Kofi alert yet set up. So please actually I need to do that. <laughs> I need to do that in a little bit. Or for next stream actually. Because I'm still doing a lot of stuff when I reformat it. I haven't set up everything that I need to yet. But yeah. I should probably do that alert soon. I forget that the Kofi alert is actually separated from the rest of the other alerts. Confession, I got friend zones recently. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Here's the thing. Banana ketchup. It's okay. Uh, honestly, I, I don't, I, I'm honestly not a big fan of the term getting friend zoned in the sense that why is being a friend so bad, you know? If someone's not interested, then that's that, you know? 
sure, it's going to hurt. But if they're good with being friends, I think that's fine. Having a good friend is something that's valuable. And honestly, a little bit underappreciated, if you ask me. You know? As long as, uh, you know, of course, as if you're able to handle that. Then I think being friends is great. The problem is a lot of people have a tendency to be like, it's, it's a lot of people have difficulty kind of staying in control of those emotions. You need that view in life. Yeah, you know what? Being friends is great. No problem there. You know, as long as you're able to keep, you know, your emotions in check and that you don't kind of let them overtake you. So that you do things that are just kind of weird and sometimes, you know, just not good. Just got to make sure you keep that in check. And if you feel that your emotions were that strong and that being friends is only going to hurt you, then you just let them know, you know, let them know that, hey, thank you for the offer. But right now, I feel like my emotions are a little bit, you know, are a little bit raw. They're a little bit um, out there right now. So, you know, I hope I hope you don't take it the wrong way. If I just kind of distance myself until I can better get a handle on this. Because sometimes it happens, you know, sometimes you'll have like really strong emotions for someone. You really like someone. And if they turn you down and you're like, man, that hurts, you know, it'll hurt. But you got to make sure that you, you keep that in check. And if it means, you know, that you got to keep your distance, that's okay. You just make sure that you let them know that that's what you're doing and not just like freaking ghost them after they turn you down. Because that's not cool either. You know, communication is key, guys. And I feel like this is a message that's more important to guys and girls in the general sense, but it is for everyone. Uh, I've just recovered from what Soleta did. What's happening? God damn it, Tiozo. We do have some people who, uh, who haven't yet seen uh, the first core of Witch for Mercury, but uh, let's leave it at that for now. <laughs> But yeah, I've seen it. Holy crap, I'm still trying to get over that. That is... Lots of tomato sauce right there, buddy. Lots of tomato sauce right there. Advice giver, no problem. You know, I, I offer what I can. Because I think, uh, you know, sometimes... They say that learning things firsthand is very important. And that there are some things that you need to learn yourself. And that's fine, you know, but I feel like if you can avoid making the mistake yourself and learning it from other people, I think you should take that chance when you get it. You hurting as a sign you're still alive? Yeah. Because here's the thing, you know, we're not, we're not going to get what you want all the time. Sometimes you don't get the girl. And you got to be cool with that. I think a lot of people... What's happening, at least that I see now, is that a lot of people are not able to kind of get a handle on themselves, you know, when things don't go their way, especially when it's something that they are very, very, like, emotionally invested in, you know? As long as you're cool with how you handle, you know, failures... Or rejections or things just not going your way. If you're able to keep that in check, then I think you're kind of set, you know? Because that's going to happen a lot in life. You're not going to get what you want. So what are you going to do about it, hmm? You keep that shit in check. You make sure that you breathe. You take the time to accept that things didn't turn out the way you wanted. And then you just, you know, you kind of, you step forward. You take two, <clears throat> you move forward two steps, all right? And that takes time. Just got to make sure that you let everybody know. Hmm. 
man. And I thought you were just going to be talking about New Year's resolutions. We're like going all over the place now. <laughs> but yeah. I think one of the other New Year's resolutions I got is, by the way, the actual New Year's resolution and kind of, I suppose, goal, target for the year in general, is we are going to try to aim for YouTube partner, guys. Partner. We are going to hit 1,000 subscribers. That is the goal. 1,000 subs. And then what? 4,000 watch hours, I think, was the... um was the condition a thousand subs four thousand watch hours that's the plan we're gonna go for partner it's a it's a, gonna be a bit of a grind but i think with the scheduling that we've got we'll be able to make it i feel like that the watch hours is actually fairly manageable you can probably do that. That's probably going to be pretty... Uh, it's the subscriber count that I feel is going to be a little bit more challenging. You know? We got to get people to... Con we got to uh, convince people to subscribe. To like the videos. Share it around so that I can get some... Uh, get some loving from the YouTube algorithm. You know? Because right now I feel like... Especially coming off of the break that we had over the past couple weeks over the new years i'm probably not doing myself a great uh you know a great favor on the algorithm <clears throat> you give a poor man a fish and you feed him for a day you teach him to fish you give him eh, eh. you teach him how to fish you make sure that he kind of gets things done if he's willing to lift to do the work himself gaining traction through shorts Oh yeah, I've actually been meaning to do that. <clears throat> but I just for I keep on just getting distracted, but honestly. Because one of the things I've been wanting to do are like those um you uh was it TikTok voice acting prompts. That's the stuff I've been wanting to do. But I keep forgetting to actually make time to do it. We all deserve a break. Yeah, yeah, it's all good. You know, it's just that the YouTube algorithm is unfeeling and uncaring and probably would be happier if everybody just decided to stop cussing. There have been some, uh, what do you call it, some new changes, though, with, uh, with YouTube and kind of them, like, being less favorable for people who cuss and who play, like, violent games and stuff. So I don't know. There's going to be a lot of uh, things that's going to be changing on YouTube from what I can tell. And you think YouTube would have it easy with Twitch kind of just, you know, crapping its pants on its own. That YouTube, all YouTube needed to do was not mess up. That debacle, we'll see where that'll lead. Yeah, pretty much. You know? Twitch was already kind of crapping itself in the pants. And YouTube does this. What the heck? You know? Maybe not doing anything would have been better. Subscribe or I put Legos on your on your bed. Mm, that sounds pretty convincing. But also threatening. Hmm. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. But yeah. I think, so yeah, that's going to be one of our plans. We're going to go for partner. Uh, I think as of now, let me take a quick look, actually, at um, the details. for. So for this year, we probably have nothing. But let me check our stats from last year. And let me see if, um, you know, like how many, like what was our views and stuff uh from the past year let me check 2022 okay so 2022 oh er no not daily just yearly there we go oh yeah 
Uh, as far as I know, is that well, you're choosing between lesser evils. Ah, true. Hmm, 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 hmm. I'm on the whiskey diet. I've lost three days already. What? What do you mean, whiskey diet, Rem? Okay, so total. Um, last year, in 2022, we had a total of 1,500 watch hours. So that's a little less than half of what we, of where we want to be. You know, of where we want to be. So we got to work on that as well. You know? And then... For subs, we're currently still at 292. Joke, I'm always about don't drink. Well, it's okay, Ram. I ain't telling nobody. What am I, a snitch? Anyway, so that said, some of our uh, some of the biggest uh, actual like watch, one of the most watched actually, I think, from last year was what. Mmm, Monster Hunter, Rise, Grind to Sunbreak. Actually, that did get quite a bit of um, views and uh, watch hours. It actually had 48, nearly 48 watch hours. Damn. That's, uh, that's honestly something. Just remember, I highly look forward to a certain finale of a certain fantasy. Ah, yes, we'll continue that next week. The regular programming continues next week. So we'll see that come to an end. Let's see. What else got a good amount of watch hours? Uh, let's see. Oh! The It Takes Two with Eve actually has a pretty solid watch hours as well. 45. The karaoke stream has 40 hours. That actually turned out quite well. Surprisingly, my common writer, um, my tier list, my common writer tier list actually had a pretty good number of views. I did not realize that. <clears throat> and I thought it was actually doing rather poorly. To be honest, I did not think that the common writer video would actually do that well. I should probably do another one, another like common, common writer related, uh, you know, stream. A lot of the special events got good views, actually. Even the Halloween one was also there. is also on this list. The Pokemon streams with Eve are also doing really well. Yeah, we should continue those collabs, Eve. <laughs> we gotta finish them. Yeah, I think in terms of, like, actual watch time, Monster Hunter got a good, uh, good, a good bunch. A lot of the event ones, so I think... We should probably do that as well. Uh, 2K22 also made it on the list. Holocure did all right as well. Hmm. But then again, I did ride the hype of Holocure when it came out. Common Rider Enemies ranking. Hmm. That could be fun. That could be fun. Although, technically, there's going to be so much bias there just for, you know, Shadow Moon. You know? Although we can probably update it since there's already um, the newest common Rider is out. We'll, we'll figure it out. You know, we'll see. We'll see. But I would like to do like another tier list as well. Because I think that that would be pretty fun. Welcome back when I catch up. Welcome back. Welcome back. Oh, hang on, guys. I'm going to put you on a quick break. I just realized that I don't have my uh drink and supply okay i'll put you guys on break i'll be back in just a sec
Okay, and we're back. Hmm. I just realized we don't have actual music, though, right now, do we? Give me a second. I've actually been talking back, talking without music. That's not good. Add some music. A media source. There we go. You guys hear it? Wait a minute. Hang on. This isn't like just chatting music. Nope. Ah. Uh, there it is. Can you guys hear it? The new sound? Okay, here we go. Sorry. Okay, is this better now? I think I think this should be a lot better now. Testing, testing. I think we're good. I think we are good. Whew. Yeah. Just make sure you guys are staying hydrated. I'm doing a doing a hydrate check as well. Ah. All right. Hopefully, though, I think the um, the Persona 5 permission thing is going to work out. I hope. I hope. Fingers crossed that uh, I get I get uh, permission or at least I get the green light to stream it. Then we can do that tomorrow and for the rest of the week. Also, to give you guys the heads up. To give you guys a heads up, I'm probably going to be showing up in uh, as a guest 
in another stream. I'll give you guys the details once, um, what do you call that? Once I actually manage to confirm the date and time. So that's going to be, I'm not going to be streaming it myself, but I'll just be appearing on another stream. I'll give you guys the heads up so that you can check it out. Did my music just stop or is that just playing on its own without me knowing? Shall we raid there? No, no, no. I'll let you guys know. If you guys want to attend where I'm guesting, then please do. If not, then it's okay. You know, it's not part of the... It's going to be an extra appearance on top of the regular stream. Hmm. All right. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. Another thing. So earlier today, I've actually been, uh, I have been tasked to look around because I'm actually trying to find, uh, like, remember my thing I said about cooking? So that includes, you know, increasing the, like, variety of the different kinds of foods that I'll be cooking. So I am going to be experimenting with a lot of different uh, other types of cuisine and stuff that I'll be, uh, you know, that I'm going to be trying out, you know? And I'm going to try to learn other cuisine because I've uh, pretty much gotten familiar with, you know, local cuisine, a little bit of pasta, a little bit of uh, Japanese, a little, and maybe even what, a small pinch of... Uh, other cuisines as well here and there so it's time to expand horizons and try to cook you know dishes that i might not have even thought to try before but some of this means that i would need to get ingredients that i've never used before and procuring uh very specific like spices or ingredients can be very difficult to do Especially if you're not living like in a city that necessarily has like easy access to a lot of international ingredients. And sometimes some places just don't have them, you know? So it's been a bit of a challenge trying to get a lot of these new ingredients. But hopefully, fingers crossed, I just got a lead from a friend who recommended to me um, like this chain of grocers that may spe that specialize uh, in a specific cuisine. So I'm gonna be, I'll try to like pay a visit to one of those grocers. But yeah, mm, 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 mm. hopefully you'll keep us updated in the food channel. Yeah, you know what? You know what, that actually sounds like a really good idea, Nito. You know, especially once, um, for this weekend, actually. It's probably going to be this weekend. I'll try to head out, uh, grab those spices and see what I can come up, uh, for you guys. You know, learning, trying to, you know, learn cultures through their food is always interesting. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll post some dishes for you guys, you know? I actually forget that I can actually post the photos for you guys over on the Discord and even on Twitter, okay? Ah, uh, but yeah, I think, uh, I think that's gonna be it for 2023. What else are we gonna be expecting? Well, here's the thing. Since we're trying to go for partner, right? That means I need to also start working on non-stream content speaking of foods new shaved ice cafe open in my area Ooh, ooh, matcha flavored ice sounds good i could use a i could definitely use a matcha flavored ice right now you know or just like something cold and sweet that sounds nice i kind of want something like that now damn <laughs> okay but to go back I need to do non-stream content this year, for sure. You know? I need to do more than just stream. So I'll need to create, like, video content, shorts, 
Now, the thing is, I'm not 100% sure what else you guys might be interested in as far as like normal videos are concerned. Because that's kind of like where I'm a little bit at a loss at the moment because I don't know what kind of videos, what other videos I can possibly make, you know? Besides just like streaming, edited video here or there. True. Hmm. But I'm thinking like something else as well, like regular kind of like, you know, created content that isn't just like edited, um, you know, videos, compilations and whatnot. The shorts are also going to be in there as well. I might do some TikTok stuff, you know, or at least get some TikTok ideas for how to do things. Voice acting, ASMR. Hmm. Stream high. Ooh, Lord Tidbits. Oh, that's going to be interesting. Hmm. You know what? That's also going to be, that's going to be fun. Okay. You know what? Let's try to do a little bit of more lore as well for you guys. All right. I feel like that's going to be fun as well to do. Hmm. And maybe if I get enough extra cash, we can also try to have it like as an animatic or something, you know? A voice acted like lore video. Kind of like uh, what happened with um, when Kason, with Kason's video, right? So there was like a little animated thing about uh, the whole arrival of of Kason and whatnot, and they even had people voicing it. That seems fun. Sounds like a lot of money, but it seems fun. Maybe, but instead of, maybe we can like, you know, save money on it by not having it actually animated. We'll just have like, you know, stills, right? A few short stories. Ooh, yeah. Hmm. Thanks, Nita. That actually sounds like some really neat ideas. We'll go ahead and try to see what we can, you know, incorporate into, as far as lore is concerned, into video content. Hmm, 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 hmm. I very much like that. I think we're gonna go ahead and do the animatic of lore. Yeah. I think that would be fun. I think that would be. All right. So I think that's, um, I think that's actually gonna be quite fun. 2023 is gonna be super exciting. And I just want to thank you guys again for the past year. Your support has been absolutely amazing, you know? And I'm hoping that over this coming year of 2023, that you guys stick around. We bring in more people, you know? And let's make this an absolutely amazing 2023. Okay? Okay. Short term, I'm going to be appearing as a guest, like I said earlier. Uh, we'll be doing Persona 5 Royal eventually, you know. And we'll also be resuming all of the games that we didn't get to finish yet last year. Maybe a little bit more of 2K22. Finish up FF7 Remake and then the, um, the DLC, right? Uh, inner grade, right? Yeah, there we go. Inner grade. And then, depending on the wallet again, maybe we can get into, uh, what do you call that? We can get into Crisis Core. Hmm? So we'll do some Crisis Core, because I actually haven't played, so that's going to be fun to see. Hmm. But I think we've, uh, we've actually got a good couple games in here. And let's try to do some, you know, non-gaming streams as well. You know, we'll do some non-gaming stuff just so we can also have a lot of uh, other varied contents. You know, we'll do some tier lists. We'll do maybe a Smasher Pass or something like that. All right. I promise you we'll have much more varied content this time around. It won't just be, you know, it won't just be gaming content and just gaming streams but let's try to do a bunch of other stuff too and would you guys be interested in having a community stream as well you know we'll have people from the uh we'll have people join in in the game now i don't think i'll be able to let you guys into voice chat but we can at least play some you know some games together that'd be fun right 
maybe we can play Smash, or maybe we can play Goose Goose Duck, or something of the like. Hmm. Amogus. We'll figure something. I just need to figure out exactly, like, you know, what kind of game or activity we can actually do on stream together. We can do the, what's that one? Gartic phone? Yeah, that's going to be fun, too, if you guys remain, you know, TOS friendly. Otherwise, we're just uh, cutting it short. Mm. <laughs> I am a little rusty when it comes to Smash, but, you know, I'll do what I can. I'll consider it a training session. So, yeah. All right. So I want to thank you guys again for dropping by. Happy New Year. I hope that your celebrations went well and that you are able to celebrate it with all the people that you guys love and care about. And I hope that, uh, you know, 2023 is going to be our year. You know, Smash Pass House Edition. Ooh, oh, that's actually, that sounds like a fun idea, Rem. Smash your Pass for Houses. Oh, that's cool. Hmm, hmm, hmm. All right. So, Happy New Year. Added Sora into Smash. <laughs> ah, Internet Explorer. But, yeah. See you guys in 2023. It's going to be a wonderful year. And I hope to see you guys through. So take care. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right. Ooh. Smash your past street food as well. Oh, that sounds even. That sounds fun as well. Don't make me send your YouTube to the entire uni. You know what, Rem? Goddamn do it. <laughs> Just don't, just don't like harass people, all right, Rem? Jesus. But I'll see you guys, okay? See you guys tomorrow. We've got a goal, 2023. Hit partner. We gotta make it. 1,000 uh, subs and 4,000 watch hours. We can do it, okay? And let's not take, let's not take as many breaks as last year. And let's try to focus on getting in a lot more content. All right, see you guys. See you tomorrow. Good night. Sleep well. Ciao, ciao. Bye.